Keep in mind that the topics written about here are illegal. Almost all the recipes are dangerous. It's not a book for children and it's not a book for morons. Um, you okay? You okay? <laughs> Holy fuck, man, that thing's on fire. The Anarchist Cookbook, also known as Exhibit A, is an infamous anthology of destroy-it-yourself bomb recipes and half-baked formulas for drugs, weapons, and general mayhem. These recipes are served up with a healthy helping of angsty teenage rhetoric that calls for unspeakable acts of violence all in the name of peace and love. It's essentially the most anti-social addition to your coffee table since part of the deal. It was authored half a century ago by William Powell, who described his work as a handbook for the silent majority when the fascists in power decide on final repression of the people. The FBI dubbed it one of the crudest lowbrow paranoic writing efforts ever attempted, while the eerily quiet kid in the back of your classroom calls it a real page turner. The book instructs in guerrilla methods of surveillance, explosives, lethal gases, wiretapping, booby trapping, use of guns and knives, hand to hand combat, plus home style recipes for powerful hallucinogens. Basically, every merit badge a Boy Scout needs to survive the apocalypse. Born of an era when the right to open protest was being challenged with a swift jackboot to the bollocks. At the time, a star spangled brand of tyranny was sweeping the nation, like Beatlemania, but with even more screaming teenagers. Pebble spent four months sourcing materials for the manual down at his local library, and upon completion it was eventually picked up for distribution by Barricade Books, a publishing house who specialised in controversial button-pushing titles, as well as duping naive young anarchists out of their copyrights. And that's the problem with anarchy, in it. You can't really use the argument, that's not fair. It's alleged to have sold more than 2 million copies since its first publication in 1971, solidifying its place as the most controversial bestseller since Vladimir Nabokov's Lolita was re-released as a colouring in book. By the early 90s, an older, wiser, lamer Powell had hoped that the book would quickly and quietly slip into obscurity. But, by then, it had become caught in the cultural grease trap that is the internet, spawning an unofficial franchise of spiritual successors, including The Anarchist Cookbook 5, Anarchist Cookbook 2000, Recipes for Disaster, and Dr. Chuck Tingle's seminal classic pounded in the butt by The Anarchist Cookbook. Now, every basement-dwelling edgelord with a dial-up connection could whip up a batch of anthrax from the comfort and convenience of their grandma's kitchen. You may even be familiar with some of the more, uh, enthusiastic members of the Anarchist Book Club. Well, I'm on my way. I don't know where I'm going. I'm on my way. I'm taking my time, but I don't know where. Goodbye, Rosie. Queen Rona. down by the schoolyard. Yes, the publication's been linked to countless violent shootings and acts of domestic terrorism though perhaps no feat of senseless self-expression more misguided than the 2002 romantic comedy of the same name. We were one big happy family. Everybody got along and freedom was the name of the game. Until the day Johnny Black arrived. How far are you willing to go? There is one book that goes against everything that we stand for. It taught you how to make bombs, how to make drugs. The problem is the kind of people Look to it for answers. Many proper real-life anarchists criticised the film for its juvenile caricatures and poor interpretation of the source material. So as far as crap book-to-film adaptations go, it's only slightly more watchable than The Cat in the Hat. Yeah, baby, yeah. But perhaps the greatest victim of the book, you know, aside from all the real victims, was William Powell himself, who was never able to escape the book's legacy. The author found religion in 76, and spent the latter half of his life teaching emotional intelligence to at-risk youths, and no, the irony is not lost here. Yet despite trying to move on and distance himself from his creation, he suffered countless professional setbacks whenever his past was discovered. But is it fair? I mean, we were all 19 once, we've all done stuff we regret. I mean, just imagine being forever known for some asinine pop culture fad you wrote when you were just a teenager. Word to your mother. Despite pleas from the author, a reputation for destruction, and its questionable legal status in some countries, the book is still available to purchase online. You can easily pick up a version of the original from one of the most evil and morally repugnant corners of the internet, Amazon.com.
or get a copy from Book Depository, Barnes & Noble, or Audible. Oh, it's narrated by Aubrey Plaza. People would just explode and there's just like limbs and bodies and you just kind of don't know what's happening. You know, you should, you should really be trying to frighten people and, and have the maximum um, destructive effect. The thing of it is, for the most part, the books all sizzle and no boom. Many of the recipes have a poor reputation for safety and are about as reliable as your racist uncle's Facebook newsfeed. So you wouldn't want to try your hand at any of them, provided you want to keep said hand. Powell didn't seem to do much fact-checking either. Case in point is the inclusion of a formula for bananadine, a psychedelic substance derived from banana peels, which is so balls-to-the-wall tits out mind-bogglingly out of this world that he didn't bother to check and see if it was real. Which it, it, it isn't. In fact, most recipes included aren't as easy to make at home as the book might lead you to believe. Probably because, in most cases, you can't sub out highly calibrated professional grade bomb and drug making equipment with shit you've got lying around the garage and expect the same results. Any qualified chemist will agree that while replacing a Bunsen burner with a hot plate is admittedly, well, punk, it's also fucking stupid. So if there are better ways to scare your parents nowadays, why buy the book? Well, basically, as an accessory to edginess. Any schoolyard outcast can spring for overnight shipping to convince their friends they're Tyler fucking Durden. Might as well come packaged with a rainbow stained butterfly knife and a checkered fedora. It's a better novelty than it is an actual instruction manual, and frankly it could use a better villain. So if you're interested in blowing up your school, we'd instead recommend that you check out Double As for the author, William Powell passed away from a heart attack a year into production of the 2016 documentary American Anarchist. Most likely, he died knowing that the world will never forget that he directly profited off of violence, suffering, and the ruination of innocent lives. And now, so are we! Human life may be cheap, but our merch sure isn't. So get your very own Anarchist Cookbook t-shirt over at our store today. Mmm, bon appetit! Uh, <laughs>